actually had, took off a slide <laughs> where I had about the definition of happiness, thinking, oh, I'll save some time. But obviously, that's a, such an important question. Um, I want to start by just saying what the researcher's definition of happiness is. And, and that is that it has two components. The first component is it involves the experience of positive emotions, you know, joy, contentment, interest, affection, love, that happier people have more positive emotions and less frequent negative emotions. Of course, happy people experience negative emotions. But that's not enough. I mean, you could imagine experiencing a lot of positive emotions but not really being a truly happy person. And the second uh, component is, a, is having a sense of satisfaction with your life, being content with your way you're progressing towards your life goals. So I think both of those are important because, again, you can, and I, actually, I often use the example of when I had, when my kids were babies, I felt like I was really, really high in that satisfaction component, like all my goals were, you know, were satisfied, um, but I was experiencing a lot of negative emotions. So, you know, it's like you're not truly happy. But, but the, the cultural question is also really interesting. I actually did a study where I went to Russia and the United States, and I had people draw what are called concept maps. And so I had happiness in the center, and people kind of draw a circle around happiness, and then you draw kind of connections from that circle to what you think happiness is. And then let's say one of them is family. And then you also kind of draw little connections from family. And so it becomes this big map. Uh, and I analyzed the difference between Russians and Americans. And it was very interesting. I mean, basically what we found is that Americans' idea of happiness was much more kind of concrete. And it was more about like, OK, there's family, money, success, having fun, and, and but more attainable things, where Russians' conception of happiness was more like spiritual like salvation was one. A world of peace and a world of beauty was like really popular answers. And then one that we kept seeing over and over again, which means kind of like a mutual understanding among peoples is happiness. So they're less attainable. So anyway, it was really important, I think, to do those kinds of studies.